Hello beautiful Aries. Welcome to my channel Irish Donna Toro. Good looking. What is cooking with our Aries friends? Let's find out starting right now. All right. The first overall energy in your love life is mending. So there has been a rift. There has been a tear in the etheric plane of your relationship. Let's see what we have. Co-create. I like it. Sometimes we need challenges to really find out what we value. And it looks like you will be exchanging gifts. Sweet gifts of love, my friends. Sweet gifts of love. Let's look and see what your energy is. Okay. Oh, you want a new beginning. You've had a relationship that has been very su uh, successful and it shows that you're ready to level up. Let's see how your partner is feeling. Oh, they're feeling wounded about something. So you're ahead of them on the curve. What's the clarifier here for you? The magician card. You're both manifesting what you want. Your partner is a little slower than you are. They're still resting and recuperating from what seems could have been some sort of heartbreak argument. It could have nothing to do with you since your energy is very good, but it also could. So we'll go forward here. What is your current energy? You're feeling very self-protective your partner is feeling as though you are an awesome amazing woman feminine energy uh, it can be vice versa but what it really says is that you look good you smell good they think you're fascinating they want to be with you and the clarifying energy is celebration you may be moving to a different location you could be planning on getting married uh, this is the energy of long-term commitment typically in this deck it looks like a big party but it's actually a wedding tent in the background so in the near future how do you see the relationship going forward will you love your person they are feeling very ego driven so when we get leo energy here it is very ego driven energy what we're seeing is that your person feels a little argumentative they have some sort of issue going on with you they feel as though you started a fight aries this is leo energy while you're ready to kiss and make up they're not quite finished with the situation at hand both of you are being very careful right now. You are very much like put a lid on it, try to settle this down, but something that you said or did has really wounded your person and they're not forgetting about it. They definitely want to be with you though. They think that you're just majestic, beautiful. You're everything that they want. They just don't necessarily understand what they feel um, is going on beneath the surface how they view you let's see we see this beautiful nine of pentacles energy they see you moving really forward in a very uh, substantial way they see you taking it a day at a time it doesn't look like either one of you are really in a rush to make a long-term commitment but they always see you working on the relationship uh, very much Virgo energy that every day that you get up, you're really doing something to promote the benefit of the relationship. Let's see how you feel about them. Ah, okay, you're wounded. Here they're wounded, here you are wounded. I should switch these so that we always keep you on the left-hand side, Aries, so you can see. All right, so both of you have wounded each other, and we can both see that, you know, there's feelings of defensiveness, so interesting energy. What's the clarifier here? The Nine of Swords, both of you are all up in your head. It looks as though you may have felt that the relationship, uh, you've seen the weaknesses in the relationship is what we see. You know, you are mending though, remember, and you are deciding to co-create, move forward by giving more to each other. In your heart space, how do you feel? Well, it looks as though the Four of Cups is sort of the bad attitude card. I'm going to be really blunt here. It speaks to the fact that you you were looking at what you didn't have instead of the Three Cups that you did have. You are over that. It looks as though you are doing an adjustment. You know, you're really now mending and co-creating. Where are they at with this and their heart space? the king of cups your person loves you unconditionally they don't do a very good job of showing you that 
Uh, Aries really likes to have a flamboyant display. You would love it if they would run in, lift you up, twirl you around, you know, bring you a big bouquet of flowers. And it looks like you're dealing with somebody with a Scorpio energy that is very sort of secretive and self-protective and loves unconditionally, but isn't a person who shows it. So that does explain some of what's going on here. So it's good to remember what you need and how you express love can be different from the person you love and that knowledge will help empower you to co-create in a more productive way for those who want the relationship. The Tower card says that this creates an unstable situation in your relationship. The Four of Cups is Cancerian energy. This is Scorpio energy that the two of you really need to blend your energies in a way that is more open, more straightforward. You know, you need to be more generous with each other in terms of emotional gifts as well as, you know, what you give each other on a daily basis. What is the situation as both of you view it going forward? Your person feels as though they're not quite sure. They're kind of juggling the idea that you may or may not join them in the future. The Two of Swords reversed means that in the past you were really annoyed with them to the point that you thought, I don't know if I want this person. I really don't. Look at they're making me crazy. But when we get the reversal, we get you making the decision to step forward with them. They really don't know what's going on. So let's see what the clarifier is here for you. Beautiful co-creating. That's your Empress card. That no matter how you feel about the way things are being handled there's a great deal of love between the two of you Empress love it's a beautiful Venus energy it's the essence of love it's Taurus energy uh, both of you may or one of you may have Taurus in your charts but we have all the signs on the board so I'm not going to focus on that so much let's see what the hidden energy is that you are trying to deal with that your partner wouldn't know about and that is releasing judgment. The way you've treated them in the past, the things, ways that you have literally judged them, you're beginning to think that maybe you need to look at things a little bit differently. And I like that energy for you. It's powerful. It's Scorpio energy. It's a rebirth of the relationship. It's how you mend. So let's see how your person, what they're feeling underneath the surface. They feel as though they want recognition for equal give and take. Now, I might add that this may or may not be something that um, is accurate as far as you're concerned, but you're going to release judgment. You know, your feeling is that at the end of the day, they do contribute. They contribute more than other people have contributed. And so you're not going to judge them, quote unquote, as harshly because they aren't doing things your way. That's a lot of growth for you, Aries. I love that energy. What's the clarifier here? Well, both of you have fire in your belly to make this relationship work and work in a very powerful way. What is spirit advising you? Oh, look into the future. Plan some fun things. Plan on going somewhere. You know, when you're looking at this person, don't get so caught up in the day-to-day -day minutia. It does look like the two of you probably have a domestic relationship with this card, uh, the Four of Wands. Uh, it really speaks to the fact that you should really wake up every day and claim your partner as yours, claim the enjoyment that you have and have gratitude for it. What's the advice for your partner from spirit? They need to hold back a little bit when they get angry at you. It looks as though they do a slow burn. And when we get the tower card, we get this Mars energy. And Mars energy is your energy, Aries. So it does look as though they want you to hold back more. They want to hold back more. They want to be more Capricornian, more sort of slow, steadfast, working through things. And that is the advice that they should hold back because up here they are not. So whatever your person did to you, whatever, you know, whatever way they made you feel about, they could choose someone else. Spirit is saying, don't do that. Hold on to your person. Show that you really are holding your Aries close to your heart. So let's see what the clarifier is. The sun card. 
card, the happiest card in the deck, Leo energy. You have a lot of heat here in this relationship. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of love. There is a lot of practical everyday concerns that may be getting in the way. But, you know, co-creation is all about equaling those out. So let's see what the outcome is for you for this week. And it is the Ten of Swords. You're leaving the wounds of the past behind. You've picked yourself up off the floor. You know, you don't want to have any more sword fights. You are letting it go. You're walking into the sunshine. You're releasing your burdens into, you know, this, you know, letting spirit take them away from you. Let's see what your person is feeling. They're feeling, you know, they're feeling that they're not quite sure what's going on. They fully expect that maybe you don't love them as much as um, you know they hoped you did but you're in this you know this is very much healing energy let's see what the clarifier is here the chariot card beautiful that really is about co-creation you have the two horses here the emperor is driving this we have the emperor there so it does look as though you end this week and if, if you do find this it is a timeless reading if you find it later but for this week for you from the 8th through the 15th, this really is your energy. The two of you will keep moving forward. You're trying to work on yourselves, which I think is beautiful and brilliant. Let's look and see what the um, what we have here for advice for you, Aries. Let's see what we have. Oops. Cards are falling all over the place. Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay. See what the energy is the advice for you for the coming week is find your path be resilient and be willing to make some changes be pure in your heart and your mind make sure that you're not over dramatizing anything in the relationship this is a, a relationship in which two of you love each other very deeply you're probably very different people in some ways but you are going to co-create aries it's been a joy sending you love from chicago send some back tell me where you're from thanks so much